everybody, this is David Yop uh, with the Yopsicle. Um, I'm going to do a, a concise installation video. I've done some in the past, but I want to do one that's uh, updated. Uh, but before we go into installing the Yopsicle on this old Paragon, I just wanted to say a few words about um, my partnership with Comet Pinball. I'm very proud of it. I've used their products for years, and I thank a lot of the company. I was really excited when they reached out to me, so I just wanted to say thanks to them. Uh, but for that launch um, of the Yopsicle being offered on the Comet site, I just wanted to do a quick updated video um, of how I install the Yopsicles, a couple of things to watch for, uh, and kind of show you some of the differences. This machine, I've only I've done the Yopsicles here uh, in just a few spots. Back when I first got them, as a matter of fact, there's some of the actual prototype Yopsicles that um, I got originally. It's also got some old LEDs in the original socket, so we'll take a look at the differences, uh, and then I'll go over how to uh, install. On this particular machine, when I restored it, I, I chose to do just clear, uh, no color inserts. So any color you see is actually a colored LED uh, underneath a clear insert. I do have, uh, with the Spectrum line, I do have color LEDs for the optical that I'll be replacing these same colors with, so you can kind of see how that works. I'll show you how I also, this has got a couple of the Twin Star rollovers. I'll show you how I install there. You do need a little bit of wire to make a jumper to get the obstacle into the right spot to illuminate those. Uh, these are just the original LEDs right now. So we'll go over um, those things, and um, I'll show you how it's done. Not much to it. Okay, first I wanted to go over the tools you're going to need to install the obstacle, and there's not really much to it. You'll need a screwdriver to uh, remove the old socket and place the obstacle using the original mounting screw. You will need a soldering iron. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, I normally, this is, this is just a cheap uh, soldering iron I got online somewhere. Um, you're not doing like board work, so I'm not too worried about the temperature. It can be hot. As a matter of fact, I need a hot iron to, to dismount the old um, socket because that, that thick metal is really hard to heat up. So, uh, And I've never messed up a obstacle with a hot iron when I was placing it. Uh, you need some solder. And if you are going to, it's always a good idea, actually, whether or not even you're planning. But if you are planning to uh, illuminate your uh, Twin Star rollovers with the obstacle, you need some jumper wire. So um, usually where the common wire, the braided wire is, the obstacle won't reach from there to, because it's, it's one of the side mounts. So you'll need a jumper wire as, as well. All right, taking a quick look at the original LEDs and sockets. Um, these are some old, the cheaper warm white, and you can see how much more yellow they are than these are the new warm yopsicles, uh, which are more like a sunlight bulb. Um, and also you can see that there are several that are uh, out. Uh, there's some up there that are no longer working. Uh, all, like I said, all the rest of these are sockets and the only yopsicles are here. Okay, we've got the play field flipped over. We'll take uh, a look here at the top. There are some of our original LEDs, um, the colored LEDs under clear inserts. These are the obstacles that I installed, and you can see there's one newer, and then all these green ones are the old prototypes. Down here are some of the original cheap LEDs that I put in. Of course, I have one of the LED boards uh, in this machine, so we don't get any problem with the uh, with the strobing or the flickering or anything like that. So here in a second, we'll uh, desolder a couple of sockets and throw in a few LEDs to show you just how easy it is. Okay, next we're gonna replace this orange LED here. And let me get the bulb itself out. And I have one of the orange obstacles here. I will go ahead and put me a touch 
of solder on the control end. I don't know what the proper word for the for that wire, but I always call it the control wire because it's not the common. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and heat this control wire up. Remove it. All right, and see if we can get the screw out without heating up the solder, which sometimes you can. No problem there. Now, I'll heat this wire up. Uh, the braided, the solder with the braided wire end. You don't have to be an expert uh, at soldering to install the obstacle. It's, I know some people get a little nervous because they have to solder these things in, but once you solder a couple of them, you realize real quick that there's just really not much to it. So I'm gonna heat that solder up so I can get this underneath. Uh, all right, I'm gonna kind of get it lined up. Might have to keep that warm while I do that. Uh, that's gonna be about right. And we'll get our mounting screw. Back in the right place. Once again, I just put that back in the same hole. Uh, and this reticle pattern is so you can center up. On these large ones, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but I try to kind of get it as close as I can. All right, so we've got our control wire. Once I get this one mounted in, I'll boot the machine up so you can see the, the results of this orange wire back, replacing that old um, socket and orange bulb. I'm going to uh, turn this on so we can see the orange the obstacle that I just replaced. There you go. So it is actually lighting orange. You know, because you don't have that whole bulb to look at, it doesn't seem like it's lighting up very much. But if we look at it from the bottom side, so. As you can see there, you've got the red and the and the orange. The red is uh, original and the orange is the obstacle. Okay, we're going to replace this bulb that's underneath the star rollover. And I'm gonna put dual obstacles, one on each side to make it light up uh, really nicely. It will require some jumper wires, but they're not really hard to add. Um, so I will remove this wire and then uh, the, the common wire, which is back here in the back, uh, we'll put in our obstacle. Now we'll have to remount that a little closer, so we'll have to add a couple of small holes, uh, right, a little bit closer to the star rollover. No big deal, some people I know uh, probably don't wanna do the dual, and some people will leave the original uh, socket in if they don't wanna put any new holes in the bottom of their play field. I don't have any problem with doing that at all. So I'll do that and then we'll uh, come right back to it and I'll show you how, what it looks like. Okay, we have our dual obstacle on each side of the switch for the uh, twin star rollover. Um, and as you can see, I put, just put a small jumper from one to the other. Uh, it does not interfere with the switch at all. And these, this was the line and I just put a little bit of a heat, heat um, shrink wrap on it. Uh, and it actually is quite bright from the other side compared to, oh, we'll lift this up. So let's look at, that's the two that have the regular bulb. Now you can see this one um, is very well lit. So it's uh, at least as good if better uh, if you run uh, two yopsicles underneath your uh, twin star rollovers. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing the rest of this machine with yopsicles and then we'll I'll flip the play field back over and we'll take a look at the final product. All right, we've got it uh, finished up. And I replaced all those old, uh, the original prototypes that I originally put across here. Looks good. We'll flip it over and take a look from the top side.
So here's the uh, final product. Keep in mind that most of these are clear inserts. There are two red ins, three, I'm sorry. There are three actual red inserts that I discovered while I was doing that. That one's an actual red insert, so is that one. And so is that one. All the rest of these are clear with a colored uh, yopsicle underneath them. So that's your orange. Uh, this is, actually I take that back, that's yellow. I always get them confused. This is yellow, that's yellow, that is orange. And then you have red uh, and blue up there uh, and green over here. And then these are the warm whites here. Um, I think it looks great.